Welcome back, my name is Coltrane Lionheart, and today on Ampgar 201, we're we'll be going over Healer, um, but specifically making a list for Capture the Flag. So I have here uh, Spellbook 2, it's an app you can get on the Android App Store, and we're going to go ahead and build a list and go over what I feel is important for Capture the Flag. So, in Capture the Flag, it's more about, or similar games of Capture the Flag, it is more about wasting people's time than it is about actually killing your opponent. Um, sometimes it may be a life pool, sometimes it may be a respawn amount, but for the most part, wasting people's time and you getting a flag and keeping those people away is more important than actually securing a kill. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and create this list. Uh, I'm going to take a pro match, a stun. I want to take the pro match mainly because I don't want people on my team to have to deal with things like all and other commands that will keep them away from people that are getting a hold of the flag. I want stuff like stun because it's a verbal guaranteed to hit if you're within range. And like I said, it wastes people's time. So have them stand there for all the way up to 29 seconds get a kill, have them have to walk all the way back. Um, I'll go ahead and take Priest. I'm going to take Persistent um, because I want to make sure I keep a pro match on people. And then from here, I want to go ahead and get some Enlightened Souls. Like I said, if people uh, can't be affected by magic, it makes it a lot easier for you to go ahead and get that flag. I'll go ahead and take Dispel, that's always important. Uh, Ambulant, uh, you're probably going to be on the move a lot because of the whole you need to run and cast situation. Uh, Abance, so we are going to be taking a lot of Spell Balls. As always, Spell Balls are 60 compared to Verbal being 30 for your count. So Spell Balls are going to come in a, uh, very handy for this. I am going to take a Swift, actually take two. Um, depend on your field, you might want to take a lot of pro projectile. If not, I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm not going to worry about circle protection either. Um, getting off a res may be hard, but you also have swift, so that might work out. Um, always take a mend. I am going to take several ice balls. Like I said, 60. So with taking two ice balls, I can go ahead and depend on your feel, basically waste 60 seconds of several people's time, right? And let's see here, extension. Um, some people will take a astral. I'm not the biggest on that. Um, I'll take a sword and board, so I'll go ahead and take a medium. Uh, I'm not going to worry about summon dead this time, because I said it's going to be kind of difficult, especially with capture the flag type of games where it's very fast paced. It's going to be kind of hard to go ahead and get someone resurrected and bring them back in. Hold person. I'm going to take a couple of those because, like I said, wasting people's time. Um, greater release. Go ahead and take that. Uh, generally, a tactic people use in capture the flag is they're just going to rush their barbarians in, have them do fight after death, try to clear out the field, and then grab the flag and run. With extension and greater release, you can go ahead and stop them from doing that. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of entangles. Um, because entangles always great. Like I said, stop your feet um, and waste people's time. Uh, adaptive blessing. Those are always great to take. Um, depending on your field, what's going on. Maybe you don't need a full... Um, pro med, maybe they're dispelling that stuff quickly, but adaptive blessings you can put out pretty quickly and adapt to what you have going on. And from here, I'm going to need myself a short sword. So we're running pretty low on stuff. Always take a heal. Always take your cancel. Um, some people would rather dump all their points into release from here, because like I said, it's going to be pretty difficult magic-wise, and your people may be getting stopped. So... You want to bring a release, and let's see here. I am going to experience greater, greater release. So barbarians have a good amount of uh, fight after death, and experiencing that is going to allow us to really be able to stop that. So this is just a 
quick mock-up list I have here. Uh, of course, there's things you can change, get rid of some things, add a little more. Everything's always to your taste and preference. So this is just a quick idea of what you can make for Capture the Flag. And I've been Coltrane Lionheart from the Kingdom of the Rising Wind and the Duchy of Stormbridge. And as always, swords up, lay on.